Games Girl here, and hello and welcome to part number three of my Let's Play of the Lord of the Rings Online Spring Festival for 2017. Alright, you guys, so I am on with my elven huntress by the name of Selenil. She is my highest level character, and she's going to wave hello to you all. And here, let's let's see her in some better light. There we go. Oops. Zoom in. There we go. And as promised, today we are going to be having her do the in-league challenge. She is currently um, a friend with the in-league. She has so much random reputation, it's very hard to keep track of everything now. But you'll notice here the in-league, she is a friend of theirs. And I'm hoping that if I do this often enough, she'll be able to get kindred this spring festival, but we will see. Regardless... Whoa, zoomed out too much. It is time for her to do this challenge. She's going to get completely drunk, so let's watch the mayhem! Hello there! Might I speak with you a moment? Alright, so this is actually the initiation thing that you have to do, but if you can do it over and over again to get more um, experience with them. Apparently this gives legendary item experience for the first one, it should give in-league experience for the next ones after that. If it doesn't, I'm gonna be mad. But <laughs> we will see. Alright, let's drink a fern beer. And a root knot cider. Making it so I can see better. There we go. And another root knot cider. And then another fern beer. There are other drinks here, but... What the... Oh, there's a Perry's Porter. There we go. Okay, we'll do Perry's Porter next, just because it's something different. And let's see, let's do... Let's do the Gunderix Ale. Oh yeah, and then this is the last one, and then we'll talk to him. Hello there! Alrighty! Now we need to go to the Plow and Stars. And she is currently feeling lightheaded. Okay. Do 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 do. Yeah, and in order to start this, you have to go to the party tree, which is just a little bit north of the town of Hobbiton in the Shire. Oh my goodness. And I am very glad that I can do this with her, because she's the only one of my characters at the moment who has a war steed. So that'll make her go a lot faster when she's uh, doing these time trials. Because if you guys will notice, you do have a time limit to get to each individual inn and to do all of the drinking at each inn. Excuse me. But yeah, I like to think that Selenil has a really high tolerance for this because she's an elf. But she gets completely drunk just as soon as any of the other races because Lotro logic. <laughs> oh my gosh. Suppressing a sneeze. Okay. I think we're okay. Oh man, that was intense. Okay. Whew. I'm good. For now. <laughs> Oh dear. Alrighty, Selenil, you gonna make it to the uh, next in-league member? I think she'll be fine. Because the next one is actually just up this hill right here. So we just have to climb the hill. Excuse me, hobbits, who I'm like totally running over pretty much. <laughs> Sorry. Alright, let's go in the plow and stars in. Do, 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 do. Run! Alright. Hello there. Alright, root knot cider time. And then some fern beer. And some Perry's Porter. Oh yeah, you can do it, Sailor Neil. You can do it, girl. You got this. And then oops, more fern beer. And then more Perry's Porter. Oh man, her cat is probably judging her a little bit. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Her cat's name is Whiskers, for those who don't know. Okay, Gundrick's Ale. I need to quit trying to move around, it's making her slower. Okay. And, uh, Root Knot Cider to finish this off. Really quick, okay. How do you do? Alright, Golden Perch is next, and that is in stock. And she is now quite merry. Why oh, yes. Why oh, yes. Go, Sailor Nil, go! Why does it say that it's just going to give legendary item experience? Why in the world wouldn't it give in-league experience? That's so weird. Ugh, oh well. 
Whatever. This is still a festival activity, so we're still gonna do it, especially because it's very amusing watching her, uh, drink all these drinks and run over the Shire. <sighs> Speaking of drinking drinks, I don't know if you guys can hear, I hope not, but <laughs> I'm drinking some coffee right now. Hmm. Oh my goodness. Run, Sailor Nail, run! Run, girl! Run on Erendir! Oh, yeah. Oh, I love my worstie. He's so beautiful. He's so, so beautiful. Oopsies. Don't run into the fence there, Chiquita. <laughs> Don't run into the fence there, girl. Oh, man. And then after Selenil completes this in-league challenge, then I'm going to be showing off Landir doing some more of the um, festival activities, namely talking to the person in Bree, who has a bit of a romance thing going on that they need uh, assistance with. And I might be doing another quest that's festival related. I'm not really sure yet. We'll see. We will see. Why am I going this way? I don't think I've ever gone this way before. Oh god. This is not a good idea. I don't normally get lost like this, I promise. <laughs> it's probably because I haven't done this in a very long time. I don't actually remember the last time that I did this quest. Because it's available every time there's a major festival, as far as I'm aware. However, I don't recall when I last took part, so... Yeah, I don't know. Okay, we're at the Marish. Okay. Whew. We're almost to the Golden Perch. Okay, just dismount, Erendir. And then just run. Just, just freaking run, girl. Just run! There we go. Here's the Golden Perch. Let's go on in there! And now, oh boy, let's talk to him. How do you do? I do great. Burn beer. More burn beer. Harry's Porter. Oh yeah. And then Root Knot Cider. You can do it, say with nil. I believe in you, Chiquita. Oh man. And yeah, you guys. We'll recognize her from a couple of my other videos in the past, especially my Hunter Class Guide, which is one of the most popular videos on this entire channel. Hee <laughs> Oh, man. But, yeah. Okay, Selenil. There we go. Good day. Alright, next stop is Frog Morton. Yay, Muddled Wits! She's officially drunk. I don't know how it took that many drinks to get her drunk other than the fact she's an elf, but... <laughs> oh, man. Lose! All right, Selenil. Let's see how well I can uh, steer this war steed while you're completely plastered here. <laughs> oh lord. Oh boy. I'm just taking some more sips of my coffee. Oh man, do you guys hear her going? <laughs> Festivals! Especially the spring festival. This one is a lot of fun. And again, I love all the major festivals, except I haven't done like anything at all with the summer one. So it'll be really interesting to try that one out practically for the first time, because I've done it in the past, but I don't remember it at all. Because it's been quite a few years since I've actually like done it, done it, if you guys get what I mean. Like done it more than just one time on one day. <laughs> Alright. We are at the next destination, almost. Nope, that's not it. <laughs> Runs into a random hobbit's house. Nope, that's not the inn. Whoops. Oh, boy. Yep, nope, she's not drunk or anything. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, God. Well, there's a laborer up there. Selenil. Selenil. <laughs> there we go. Go in the floating log in. <laughs> Where's the person we need to talk to? Oh, there you are. Hello. How do you do? Oh boy. Drink the Perry's Porter. Drink the Fern Beer. Drink Gundrix Ale. And then Root Nut Cider. And then more Perry's Porter. You can do it. And then more Root Nut Cider. Hello, Hobbit Minstrel. And then more Perry's Porter. 
and then talk to her. Oh my god. Okay, now we need to go to the green dragon, which is over in Bywater, I believe? Wow, wait, what? Where? <laughs> and this is as drunk as your characters are capable of getting. Oh my gosh. Oh dear. Oh no. Except for when they drink from one of the sinister kegs and then they end up in goodness knows where without pants. Yeah, that's that's also fun. <laughs> Those of you who watch my main Lotro Let's Play will know what that looks like because you witnessed it firsthand. <laughs> oh lord. Alright, here we are over in Bywater. Alright. Uh, green dragon. Oh gosh. Are you even anywhere near the door? There you go. <laughs> it is so hard to navigate like this. Oh my god. Uh, where's the person I need to talk to? There you are. A lovely day, isn't it? Okay, uh, I have to click where it looks like there's a phantom beer because that's where the real one is. Oh my god. <laughs> This is not easy, you guys. This is not easy. Okay, none of the drinks right by him are actually available for clicking on, so I have to make sure to click on the ones that are to Stanley Hill's right here. Oh my gosh. Okay, keep drinking! Keep drinking! You can do it! You can do it! Okay, and then we need to click on the Hobbit. As soon as she's done drinking that. You got it, girly! Good day! All right, the Ivy Bush Inn in Hobbiton now, which thankfully is very near to here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> She's so drunk. <laughs> How she hasn't passed out is beyond me, but you know, it's it's impressive that she hasn't passed out yet. It's very impressive indeed. <laughs> Da -da 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 Hi, you yourself there, Sailor. <laughs> oh, dear lord. No! Dismount your steed. Oh my gosh. She's having problems navigating for some strange reason. Oh, dear. Hello. A lovely day, isn't it? Okay. Click on the Root Knot Cider and then get some Perry's Porter in you. And then more root knot cider. Oh my gosh. It's hard to see what she needs to, what I can click on. There we go. Gundrix ale. And then next will be some fern beer. And then after that, some more fern beer, I suppose. That's just what I clicked on. And that's the last one here. As soon as she's finished, I'm gonna talk to the Hobbit lady. Moonlight Sand Heaver here. Good day. Apparently someone should give me a cheer because I'm amazing. Oh man. <laughs> I say she's pretty amazing. Alright, and now we're going on to the very last one of this trial, which is the Bird and Baby Inn over in Michael Delving. So let's rush on over there! This one's a little bit harder than the others as far as I'm concerned because you have to go in a back room and click on ales that are like beers and ales or whatever that are on barrels and you have to click on a hobbit who's completely passed out drunk by the barrels <laughs> oh dear oh boy da 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 this is great! Yay! We're almost to Michael Delving already! I love using a war steed. It's so nice! So nice! So very nice. And if you want to, um, most of the locations, except for Frogmorton, can be, um, you can get there using the main, one of the main stables. But I just prefer using my own steed, especially because of the fact that Frogmorton does not have its own travel location. And the fact that I just find it a little bit more fun to do it this way. I don't know. Maybe I'm weird. I'm probably weird. But whatever, to each their own, right? 
Oh god. Oh dear. She's just flying through this garden in very strange, strange ways. Oh lord. Okay. Here. Uh, hop the fence. The burden baby is right over here. That sign though, that you can just barely see because she's so out of it. <laughs> oh god. Alright, the in-league thing is over there. You have to be a friend, which she is. But in order to actually finish this... Yeah, it's nice to see you again, oh, too. Gundrick's Ale time! This is the last trial! Oh, yeah! And then Root Knot Cider for you, Miss Selunil. Oh, gosh! <laughs> Fern beer time! And then as soon as she's done with that, she's gonna get some Perry's Porter. There we go. I waited to click on it because I knew she'd move. Okay, Root Knot Cider time. And then more Perry's Porter. Come on, click on it quickly. One more drink and then talk to the Drunk Hobbit. Oh god, how do I click on the Drunk Hobbit? There we go. Hello there. You did it! You've proven yourself a valuable member of the In League. Enjoy and have fun. Thank goodness I did get rep for that. Yay! And now she's completely plastered for the next five minutes, and then she'll be okay. <laughs> oh, good evening, Pippin! My hamster Pippin just woke up, and he's drinking from his bottle, which is usually the first thing he does. Yay! <laughs> Excuse me. She is so drunk. Let's see if I can get her to dance on this table. Dance! Hobbit! Yay! <laughs> She's drunk and dancing like a hobbit on the table while her cat is just sitting there like, what is happening? <laughs> oh lord. Alright you guys, so I'll be back in just a little bit when I have Lane Deer ready. Oh man. Poor, poor drunk Salonil. <laughs> Alright you guys, I'm here with Lane Deer now, who has a new cloak and a new haircut. And I love his man bun, I'm just saying. We'll zoom it out a little bit, there we go. <laughs> and he's also using the Steed of the Moth now, which you can get from this Spring Festival, which is extremely pretty as far as I'm concerned. And it makes a really cool jingly noise when it runs, so that's always nice. Now let's talk to Wald Sanson here because I figured we should do the How the Shire Shoes Shrews quest. Especially since Landier now has the title The Shrewd and he has a new shrew buddy. And I still need to earn him the plain shrew and the really big shrew, but I'll get there eventually. <laughs> oh dear. What Hello there, shrews. Yes, we've been known to see a shrew or two. I'll tell you the secret of getting rid of them. Talk very loudly about winter being just around the corner. Shrews hibernate in winter, you see. Just talk about how cold it's getting and how it's supposed to snow tomorrow. You'll see. They'll be running for their warm, cozy burrows in no time. It's getting awfully cold these days. Ahem. <clears throat> um. <laughs> I hear it's likely to snow tomorrow! Hmm... Brr! I need some mittens! Yes, well, as you can see, they're very disturbed by the news of oncoming winter. I'm sure they'll be running for the hills soon. Uh-huh! Sure they will. They don't give a darn. <laughs> oh dear! Alrighty, so... Oh my god. But here you guys can listen to the little bit of a jingly noise that the Steed of the Moth makes. It's so pretty. So pretty. Oh man. And now we're going to head to Hobbiton so that we can talk with the gaffer. And then we're going to go to the cotton farm and buy water. And then I'll be skipping until um, he's over back in Duelon so we can turn that in. And then we're going to head over to Bree to work on the When the Rare Flowers Bloom quest. And hopefully it'll be daylight in game by the time that happens, because it's currently late watches of the night, but I really wanted to finish this up. And also the Shire's quite pretty at night. And during the day, and just in general. 
like earlier, shortly before I started filming with Salinil, there were rainbows in the sky. It was just so gorgeous. So gorgeous. I'm sad I didn't manage to get any of that on camera, but... Oh, well. <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, dear. But let's see, we're almost... Yeah, we're almost to Hobbiton now. And I just love the little jingly bell noise that the Steed of the Moth makes. I haven't noticed any other Steeds make that noise. If you guys happen to know of any that do, please inform me. But I am not aware of any of them. Why is it pointing that way when the gaffer is up north here? Anyway, <laughs> I don't know. Do you know Pippi? Do you know Pippi? Pippi doesn't know. <laughs> He's sitting kind of weirdly in his house right now with his back up against his water bottle. I don't know what's up with that, but okay. <laughs> oh dear. We are crossing the Bywater Bridge now and we're about to get over to the party tree, which is where this part began with Selenil doing the in-league stuff. And I don't believe Landir has joined the in-league. Pretty sure he has not, no. And I really need to work on his guild rep. <laughs> but... Yeah, I might have him do that eventually, but not right now. I'm just going to focus on Selenil with that at the moment. But first and foremost here, let's see, any dances about to begin soon? Nope, which is sad because Landir really needs to learn the Hobbit dances. But let's see here, where's the gaffer? Oh, the gaffer is a little bit south of the party tree. I went a little bit too far. Whoops. Sorry about that. Oh, you getting yourself unstuck, Pippi? Okay, you get unstuck, little one. <laughs> there you go. Now he's being more normal. There you go. Climb up your tube. There you go. Climb up to the second level. Okay. If you're wanting advice month. on gardening, you've come to the right hobbit. Shrews are nasty critters determined to ruin my work. There are two ways to deal with them. Either trap them or chuck an apple at them. Aim for the head if you decide to chuck an apple. I suppose stomping on them would work too if you're quick. Shrews are everywhere this time of year. There's nothing to be done about it. And look, there's one right now. See that? Bold as brass. Oh, man. <laughs> and it looks like he thwonked it over the head with his uh, tool there and made it burrow away. What do you think, Pippin? You think that's crazy? You think that's shrew abuse? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Don't mind me, you guys. Don't mind me. Alright, we're almost to the cotton farm now, I believe. It should be, like, right over here-ish. It's not too far away, I don't believe. I could be completely wrong, of course, but... <laughs> Hopefully I'm not. Hopefully. Let's cross these two adorable little bridges here. I don't know why there's two small bridges here instead of just making it one normal long bridge, but I digress. Mm, excuse me. Excuse me, you guys. Excuse me. Alright, where's the cotton farm? It should be just... Yeah, it's a little bit south of Bywater, and we're in Bywater right now. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay. Um. Oh, how do we get up there? Just, like, climb up here? Oh, I guess that works. Oh, this this part is great. This bit is great. Here's his, sh here's his new shrew. This is Aggie. He has Aggie and Spots so far. A lovely you want to know how it? we keep shrews away from our fields? It's very simple. My cat here, Waldy, is the finest shrew hunter in all the Shire. Watch what he can do! Okay. Hey, Waldy, wake up! There are some shrews in our fields. Hunt! Come on, hunt! Err... <laughs> The shoes are bigger than the cat. I think Waldy's busy at the moment. Come back later. You'll see what he can do. Oh, boy. Poor Waldy. Poor Waldy. I give him a hug. He's so cute. Ah! Okay. <laughs> All right. I'll be back in just a little bit, you guys. All right, guys. So Landir is over in the festival garden here in Duelon now. And we are going to talk to her to let her know what the hobbits had to say about getting rid of shrews. How can I be of service? Main Gamiel listens keenly as you tell the tale of your journey in the Shire. That sounded like a productive venture, Landir. 
Sleeping Cats lies about the season, but at least one hobbit resorts to similar methods to those we use here. I believe an apple hurled at the unruly beasts would give me a great sense of satisfaction. Know-it-all hobbits don't seem to know so much after all. Oh dear. Lol! Ooh, hobbit present time. Let me grab this really quick. Yay, new armor. Alright, so <laughs> I'll be back as soon as I'm over in Breetown, you guys. Alright, guys, so we're over in Breetown now, and we can talk to Avery Crabapple over here. Are you the local hero, you? Laindeer, of whom I've heard so much? I'm mightily glad you've made it in time for the flower blooming season. I have an urgent need for help, you see. Hello, friend. Greetings, could friend. I was wondering something? if you could help me, as I am in a precarious position. I have found that my affections for a particular woman have grown into something I can no longer ignore. She is the beauteous flower amongst the weeds. She walks in my dreams, and the sound of her voice is a melodious tune that bards could sing about for the ages. Of course, there is a slight bump in the road. I have not actually spoken to her. I simply cannot muster the courage to approach the lovely woman, as I have only watched her from afar walking around town. What would I say? I fear I would only make a terrible first impression. This is where my request comes in, for I have a brilliant plan to woo the woman of my dreams. Please, would you go and collect three types of flowers from all over Eriador? Only the best for my sweet lady. Bring them back to me, and I will create the most beautiful bouquet a lady could want. I only need three varieties of flower for the bouquet. I will need a marigold, a violet, and a primrose. Marigolds can be found near the stone circle outside Michael Delving, Violets near the stone circle beyond the Bree Westgate, and primroses near the stone circle outside Kellendim in the Blue Mountains. Take care and return as quickly as you can. Okay, so of course, since we're over in Bree already, we're first going to grab the flowers that are here in Bree. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and I have no memory of how this quest line turns out, so well, this will be new for me if if it's new for, if it's new for you guys, it'll be new for me too. Just just FYI, because I have done it once before, but that was a really long time ago, and I have no idea what happens. <laughs> Does she accept him? Does she reject him? Is she allergic to flowers? I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea at all, but we'll find out. We will find out. Alright, so there's the stone circle thingy right there he was talking about. So, um, each of the flowers we need to find are at the nearest respawn circle to these main locations. So, Bree's nearest respawn circle is right here. So, the flowers here in Bree, the violets, are right here by the respawn circle. So, let's go ahead and grab those. Okay. And now let's use a swift travel to go to Michael Delving. And then the next one to Kellendim, etc. You guys get the point. <laughs> this feels like a very appropriate spring activity, you know? Just uh, collecting flowers and whatnot for this guy. I love the seed of the moth. He's so pretty. So pretty. Okay, dude. Now. Where's How can Michael I be of service? There it is. Let's go there. <laughs> I'm so glad that there's all these swift travels. It makes things a lot easier. Much, much easier. Alright, dismount already because you're already here. And where we need to go, ah, it's finally dawn. Yay! is right up here. Because the respawn circle is just a bit north of here, if I recall. Do, 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 do. Excuse me, hobbity. Pardon me, hobbity hobbit. Oh, and over here, for those who don't know, there's Bingo Boffin. I picked up the very first quest from him, but I haven't done any of the other ones. So if anyone needs to do Bingo Boffin quests, that's where he is. <laughs> Alright, so the respawn circle is right over here. So let's pick these marigolds. Alright, grab those lane gear. There we go. Okay, now we need to head to Kellendim and grab the primroses and then we can head back to um, Mr. Crabapple over in Bree. Okay, um... 
Oh yeah, and there's a legendary item person over there for whatever reason, so that's nice. There's also one over in Thorin's Hall in the area where the um, giant forges are. So that's always nice. Oh, and there's the bingo badge uh, barterer. Forgot about that guy. Okay. Hello. To Hello Kalindim we go. To Kalindim we go. Hi, so the Mario. To Kalindim we go. <laughs> oh dear. Oh boy. Okay. It's nice and bright here now that it's dawn. Oops, excuse me, random dwarf champion who I was like standing inside of. That was really awkward. Okay. <laughs> oh boy. Alright, so the respawn circle is just up ahead here. Hello, Sentinel. You are level 105, and if any of the level, like, seven things come and attack you, they are so in trouble. <laughs> they are so gonna be in trouble. So the respawn circle is over here. It is across this bridge, and to, like, over there, I think. Oh, nope, just kidding. It's over here. Dang it! What the hay was I thinking of? I was thinking of something else, apparently. But it's actually over here. Sorry about that. <laughs> I completely derped there. My bad! Alright, let's grab these primroses. There we go. Go ahead and pick those up, reindeer. Okay! Sorry about that. I don't know why I thought it was further away. <laughs> it was over right here by this guy. Oh dear. Well... I found it. I found it, so, you know. So good! Oh, such pretty trees. Such pretty trees. Oops, wrong person. I need to click on you. Hey, go Vanen. May go Yay, West Bree. Anyone's wondering why I'm, I might be a little bit weird right now? I apologize if I am, but it's like way past midnight right now, so <laughs> I'm a little bit sleepy, but I'll be okay. I'll be okay. Alrighty, so he is just up here in the marketplace, as you guys probably recall. So just a bit past the prancing pony up here. Oh my gosh, why was it lagging? No lagging allowed, no lagging allowed. <laughs> right, Pippi? No lagging allowed. Yes. Okay. So, now that we've got the flowers, let's give them to him and find out what happens next. Excellent! You've managed oh, to yeah. find the perfect blooms to help make the perfect bouquet for my sweet lady. You have a wonderful eye for flowers. I truly appreciate all your help in finding these rare flowers. I will go ahead and create a beautiful bouquet worthy of the woman of my dreams. I am confident that this is the way to her heart. Okay. Could I speak Thank you with again, you my friend, for your assistance. Now I have the perfect bouquet fit for the stunning beauty of the woman I want to impress. If you don't mind, I would like to impose upon you once more. Could you please deliver my gift? I cannot chance accidentally meeting her. While I'm sure of the address on the Scholar's Stair, please find out which of the houses on the road belong to my sweet lady by asking Barlam and Butterbur, the proprietor of the Prancing Pony. He is knowledgeable in the goings-on within Bree, and he would surely and he surely would know where she lives. Please check with him before delivering the bouquet. <laughs> According Bree will go. Oh dear. Wait, I think I'm starting to remember this quest a bit more now. I think I'm starting to remember a bit more. We will see, though. We'll see. I'm not gonna say anything right now, just in case I'm completely misremembering it, but... <laughs> you never know. D Pippin. You never know. You never know. So, my How friend, I, I hear you service? are assisting Master Crabapple with a few things. He has sent ahead a description of the lovely lady, and I approve. I know what lady he's showing a fancy for. The poor fellow is simply too shy. Well, take me for a ninny hammer. What with all the customers and business, I've plumb forgotten where her house is. Oh, wait, now I recall. Follow the road outside the pony towards the west gate and turn left up the scholar's stair. 
Her house will be either the first or second door after the first bridge. There should be a vase nearby. It will serve as a perfect container in which to place the gift. Okay. You approve, hamster? The hamster approves. <laughs> oh, goodness. Ah. The one nice thing about filming late at night is that Pippin's awake. Yep. And now he's hiding from me. He's tired of me talking about him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. And cue the rain. Well, I guess it's springtime, so that makes sense, right? Of course, right. Alright, let's go up the stair here. And try not to run over all the dwarves and humans and whatnot over here. Alright, so there should be a vase right here. <gasps> oh yeah, I remember! There's a kitty! I blow the kitty a kiss. Pick a kitty! Okay. <clears throat> Let's put this in the flower vase. Okay. We've delivered the bouquet, even though it's invisible. So that's nice. Lols. Okay, now we can talk to Avery Crabapple. And let him know that we have placed the bouquet in front of the house of the crazy cat lady. <laughs> Well, to be fair, she's not necessarily crazy, even though she has more cats than I do, and that is a feat in and of itself, because I have over a dozen of them. <laughs> yeah, boy. Oh, I'm not completely crazy. I promise. <laughs> oh, dear. Alright, Avery. You've planted your gift. Now what? Wonderful! Greetings, You've returned! Friend. I trust you delivered the flowers to my sweet lady. I feel my heart welling up with excitement for the moment she finds my gift. Hello, friend. Oh no! Help me Good with heavens! Something. The bouquet was delivered to the wrong address! I know for sure that the beautiful woman does not have cats. Oh dear, I should have been more detailed in my description. She definitely lives on the scholar's stair. Would you please pick up the bouquet from the wrong door and ask her neighbors for the correct address? Ah. It's not the cat lady? Dang it. <laughs> well, we're gonna go in that cat house and visit it though, because it is amazing. And yes, this video is gonna be a little bit long, but so is the first part in this mini series, so. Meh. <laughs> oh dear. We are gonna go on up to the stairs now. I don't know why I was singing that, but I was, so there. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, goodness. Hi, kitty cat. How are you, fuzzball? Let's grab the flower vase. Okay. Now, really quick, before we go in there, I want to see the cats! Once they load... Yes! Ah, there's fuzzies everywhere! Oh no. But unlike us, they're not fixed, because look, there's kittens everywhere. There's baby cats. Oh lord. <laughs> they're everywhere! This seems homey to me, but with them everywhere. But, uh, yeah, at least all of ours are spayed and neutered. Oh dear, and some of them have names, but not all of them. Oh my gosh. So many babies! So many fuzzy babies! So many fuzz babies! I wink. Oh my god! Oh my god! My shrew is bigger than any of the cats except for this one. That It's like bigger than most of the cats. Lols! Oh my god! This is great. I think there's some in here as well. Yeah, there's one there. And there's one up there. Horatio's over here. <laughs> oh lord. They're everywhere. Oh, and there's somebody up here. <laughs> They're all over. Oh, there's so many of them. Oh dear. Oh dear. Okay. <clears throat> now that we've gotten momentarily distracted by the cat house in Bree, let's go talk to her neighbor and find out. Uh... Greetings, friend. <laughs> My name is Fern, Fern Coppersmith. Have you been looking for me all this time? How lovely. Avery Crabapple made this beautiful bouquet just for me. That is simply the sweetest thing anyone has ever done. Between the two of us, I must admit that I've been watching him as well, hoping that he would say something. 
If it doesn't sound too forward, I was hoping he would get past his shyness to speak with me. In fact, I even sent him some sweets I made. Since he didn't mention them to you, I can only assume that I must have delivered them to the wrong address as well. If I could ask for a small favor, could you please collect the sweets for me and deliver them to poor Avery? I certainly hope he enjoys them. Aww, that's really cute. <laughs> that's really cute. She has a crush on him back. That's That'll make things a lot easier. <laughs> and a lot nicer, too. <laughs> certainly better than if it was unrequited. That would that would just be sad. That, that would not be good. That would not be good at all. Um, wait, where are the sweets? Oh no, did I go the wrong way to get to them? Uh-oh. I don't think I did. Did I? <laughs> Alright, let's go down here. Hello, doggy floof. Hello, doggy. Hello, doggy doggy. Alright, um... Let's see. Um... Let's just kind of slip through here mysteriously. Uh, where... Where are the sweets? Let me check the map really quick. Oh, okay. They're not too far from here. They're pretty close to where Avery is right now, actually, it looks like. Okay, there they are. Yeah, they're up here. Okay. Let's grab these. And give them to Avery Crabapple. Goodness, How can those I be sweets are for me from the beautiful and generous fern. This is fate, my friend. How funny that both of us delivered gifts to one another and both sent them to the wrong address. I suppose all this nervousness and anxiety could have been avoided if I just spoke with her in the first place. I thank you so much for helping us. When I'm done with my tasks, I will have to go and speak with her in person now that I have the courage. Thank you again. Could I Hello again, Landeer. I wanted to thank you for your help. I've gone ahead and sent a note over to Miss Coppersmith, and we will be meeting for tea later today. I couldn't have done it without you. In the meantime, please let me introduce you to my friend, Brendlid Mugwort, the hobbit dude there. Uh, he has come up with a wonderful plan. He thinks that if we work together, we can create bouquets and gifts for suitors to give their sweethearts. We would appreciate it if you would go out and pick more of those lovely flowers. You can come back and trade them in to... Gredelin, in exchange for a wonderful present. We look forward to seeing what flowers you bring back. You can pick all the blooms from flower patches around the areas where the f where you found the flowers I asked for. Violets are found most often in Breland, primroses in Eridluween, and marigolds in the Shire. Do not worry if you feel as if you do not have enough time to find all the flowers you need today. You can always come back tomorrow and try again. Alright, so I have one hour to collect them all, but I am NOT filming collecting flowers for an hour. There's absolutely no way I'm doing that. <laughs> so what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to collect some of them from the little area over in Bree by the respawn circle, and then I'll go to Kellendim and collect some, and then I'm gonna be done. I don't care about getting a ton of them, honestly, at all. Especially since I really want to get Lane Deer doing more of the shrew quests off camera for my own personal entertainment so that I can unlock the last two shrews that I need so that he'll have all of the shrews unlocked. <laughs> but as soon as I've collected the flowers and gotten him over in Kellendim, I will be ending this part and this mini series. <laughs> I don't even know if this is part of a song that I keep, like, just randomly going off with here. That's a little strange, but oh well. Wait. Where are some flowers? I swear, it said there were flowers right here, right? I'm not completely mental, right? Oh lord. Wait, there's gotta be some nearby here, right? Oh, patch of flowers. Okay. We're good. We're good. Found one. Okay. Ooh. Pretty. We got some violets and a primrose. Alright. Let's see if I can grab another one really quick. Let's see if there's any more right nearby. Yep, there are some right here. This is fun! <laughs> <laughs> okay, got some violets. Very nice. Get on your steed. Oh, just kidding, there's some more over here. Dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun! <laughs> 
Okay, um, is there more nearby here? I'm just pressing the delete key to see if any more come up. And if no more come up, um, anywhere near here, I'm just gonna use swift travel to head over to Kellendim. And then we'll get some over there, and then we'll be done! Yeah, that's the only ones right over here. I'm not gonna bother looking for more unless I see some directly on this path back, which I kinda doubt. Especially since now we're having a nice fresh spring rain here. Eee. Oh yes, and for anyone who may be curious, Whisper of Wind is the default name for this steed. I would rename it, but if I ever wanted to have it be Whisper of Wind again with actual spaces between the words, I couldn't do that, so I'm not going to. Whereas I have this steed, I, have, I unlocked it pretty recently on Faluing. And that one I named Mothra! <laughs> Oh, uh, boy. <clears throat> it wouldn't let me name it Mothra as it's actually spelled in the whole Godzilla stuff, but I added, it, I added an extra R or something. <laughs> I couldn't help it, I just had to. Alright, let's get a few more flowers here. Alrighty. It's raining a lot more here in Kellendim than it is over in Bree, apparently. Wow. Oh wow, look at how foggy it is, you guys. Oh, it's so beautiful. Gosh, I love this region so much. <sighs> this is definitely one of my absolute favorite regions in all of Middle-earth. For sure. For sure. Alrighty, we got a couple of primroses. And there's more flowers over here. Over by this respawn circle. Oh, goodness. Yay! Alright, I'm gonna take him over in the general direction of Dualand here. Okay. Da -dum 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 -dum. Are there more flowers for me to collect on the way? Probably at least one more bouquet. Or, not bouquet, but patch of them, rather. <laughs> oh, man. So oh, pretty! So pretty. Let's see, are there any more around here? I feel like there should be more right over there, but there's not, sadly. Oh well. It's showing that um, there's more to be collected over that way and not over here, but that's alright. So, alright you guys, I'm going to be ending this part and this little mini-series here. I hope that you all enjoyed it. Please be sure to give this video a like and to subscribe to my channel if you have not already done so. And I will be seeing you all in my next video. Bye!